Michigan lawmakers will decide if abortion should be covered under regular health insurance plans. And as you can imagine, there are strong opinions on both sides of this issue. Shannon Kantner has that report for us. More than 315,000 signatures from all 83 Michigan counties with one message. We really believe that abortion is not health care and that uh, tax dollars should not be going to pay to subsidize abortions. Right to Life of Michigan spearheaded the petition initiative back in June, anticipating the start of Obamacare. This proposal would ban abortion coverage from health plans unless an additional policy is purchased. The group says it's all about funding. This is not about the legality of abortion. It's not about the access to abortion. It really is about who pays for it. But critics say they're not buying it. This isn't really about how abortions are funded. This is about who makes those decisions and who controls women's lives. And if it's really going to be a woman and her family and the best medical decision with her doctor, or if it's going to be lawmakers in Lansing. Planned Parenthood calls the proposal a gross government overreach, and some of those lawmakers agree, arguing it would force women to predict the unpredictable, with no exceptions for rape, incest, or medical emergencies. A terrible proposal being pushed by special interest groups that would essentially, we're saying, you need to buy rape insurance uh, and making parents choose to do that for their daughters even. But now it's up to the legislature and House Republicans are reviewing it carefully. The bigger question at this time is if we are going to take action on it, what is the timing of that? Lawmakers have 40 session days to act on this. They can approve it and then it becomes law. They can reject it or do nothing and then it goes to the voters next November or they can create an alternative proposal altogether. Reporting in Lansing, Shannon Kantner, Fox 47 News. And those 40 days begin when the legislator officially receives the certified petition, which is expected to happen tomorrow. Governor Snyder vetoed a similar measure last year, but in this case, his signature is not required and he has no vetoing power. We'll have continuing coverage of this issue for you tomorrow.